State Senator slammed for saying nurses play cards for a considerable amount of the day. Mandatory flu shot policy draws religious discrimination lawsuit and a $75,000 settlement. And Washington State is set to become the first state with long-term care insurance benefit. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A Washington State Senator is being criticized after saying nurses should be exempt from uninterrupted meal breaks and mandatory overtime protection because they, quote, probably play cards for a considerable amount of the day. Maureen Walsh, a Republican, was arguing for an amendment that would exclude small hospitals from a bill that would require nurses to have the breaks. Walsh's comments were made last week on the Senate floor and went viral on Friday after Washington State Nurses Association made a blog post about it. There were so many readers on the site that the blog temporarily crashed on Friday. The bill, which is supported by the nurses' unions, passed the Senate with the amendment excluding small hospitals. The Washington State Nurses Association opposes the amendment, saying that medical errors can be caused by fatigue, which could be addressed by rest breaks. The Nurses Association wrote, quote, No, Senator, nurses are not sitting around playing cards. They are taking care of your neighbors, your family, your community. Nurses around the country tweeted about Walsh's comments, with some including pictures of a typical day for a nurse and the hashtag, nurses don't play cards. A hospital that fired an employee who refused a flu vaccination will pay $75,000 to settle a religious discrimination lawsuit, government officials said on Friday. St. Thomas Health, which operates St. Thomas Rutherford in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, required all employees to have a flu shot, including food and environmental services employees. One employee wore a protective mask in 2013 and 2014 instead of receiving a flu shot, claiming a religious exemption. But in 2015, the company denied that mask request and said he could not work there without the shot. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission said that violated a portion of the Civil Rights Act that requires employers to provide a reasonable accommodation for an employee's sincerely held religious beliefs. While a pre-litigation settlement failed, the provider chose to settle prior to the trial while denying any wrongdoing. The company is part of Ascension, the world's largest Catholic health system. We'll be back right after this break. Want a better way to invest in yourself as a CNA and for only 10 cents per day? There's no better way to spend your daily dime. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Click on membership, fill out a few boxes, submit, and you're in. With the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, you can begin your journey. With these great benefits that include 12 hours of education with the NACA Virtual Campus of Care, our monthly newsletter, The NACA Edge, will come straight to your email with a special recognition to you. Registration discount to CNA Fest, NACA's annual CNA gathering just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. 10% off anything in the NACA Pro Shop. CNA TV, our YouTube channel that focuses on topics, current events that pertain to what a CNA is all about, and much more. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Numerous states are trying to create a long-term care insurance program funded by a payroll tax, but it looks like Washington will be the first to actually do it. All that's required is a House revote on a Senate package that was passed early last week. The governor, provider associations, and many others have supported the measure, which would cap the lifetime benefit maximum at $36,500 per person. Providers could start collecting payment from the program beginning in January 2025. The measure covers traditional long-term care services for people needing help with at least three activities of daily living, as well as things like in-home care and meal delivery, rides to the doctor, home modifications such as wheelchair ramps, and reimbursements to unpaid family caregivers. Premiums of 0.58% of wages would begin being withheld from employees' checks starting in 2022. 
Someone earning $50,000 per year would pay a premium of about $24 per month or $288 per year. Under the Senate version, individuals holding long-term care insurance policies would be exempt. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.